Tim from Red Arc. Thanks for coming in. And once again, thanks for having Red Arc sponsor us for Camper Trailer of the Year 2023. I hear you've got a new product out. Tell us about it, what it is and what it does. That's right, Tim. We are about to release our TVMS Rogue. So this is our new control system that we've got as part of our suite of products, as part of the Red Vision family. TVMS Rogue, I'm familiar with what TVMS is, a total vehicle management system. What does Rogue add to that existing family? So this is an additional product that we've got to the family. So with our existing TVMS system, we're able to control a lot of the functionalities on a caravan, camper, or on a four-wheel drive. But also then we've got our new TVMS Rogue, which adds functionality and can expand the system, but also be independent and be able to use it on its own with the TVMS screen. Awesome, so it says distribution module on it. So I would it be fair to guess that this is really about controlling everything inside a camper or a van? Uh, and is it a power distribution module of sorts? Yes, that, that's right, Tim. So it's able to do a lot of the controlling on the system so that you're able to switch on and off, say, lights, water pumps, your inverter perhaps, uh, perhaps a, an air compressor, those kind of things. But then we've also got a lot of other functionality. It's a very, very versatile product. This one on the box, 12, 1240, and then going to other products that you guys do, I'm going to go out and say this is 12 volt, 40 amp. Correct. Now is that 40 amp across how many channels? So it's 10 channels. Each of those channels are 10 amp, yep. but the overall is 40 amp. So we have our, the big brother, the 1280, which is 80 amps. So this is a 40 amp unit. Now with that though, there is extra functionality. So things such as light dimming, and it's able to handle analog to digital inputs as well. Analog to digital as well, right, okay. So you could actually look at retrofitting this into something that's already got some electrical switch gear in it. So your lights, you're saying before. So you could turn on your fans for your fridge compartment. You could turn your lights on. With 40 amps, you're getting up into some relatively high power appliances. That's, that's good impressive. You got a unit we can have a look at? Like yeah, sure, sure. So here's the unit itself. So this is the control module here. So you'll see on the front there, we've got our power and ground comes in and then we've got our 10 channels. But you also notice there's another connector here and that's able to handle a number of inputs. So we could have inputs such as a light switch panel or some sort of control, perhaps even from your vehicle, say a tow vehicle, where you have ignition come in or reverse and be able to have an influence then on those outputs. So this input will take signal, right? So you're saying I could, I could run an ignition source or an ignition switch or, or, or line from the car Yes. So that this will then know that, all right, the ignition's on. Now it's good to start controlling what's in, in, the, in the trailer, basically. Correct, that's right. So it could be, if you turn the ignition on, we want to disable the water pump, say. Yep, or turn on a, turn on a you know, would be a good one, turn on DRS, a dust reduction system, that sort of stuff. That's right, exactly right. The other functionality though is the switch can be either switched on and off, or it can be held. And this is where we have our light dimming functionality so you can actually turn the light on and off or hold that switch and it can brighten or dim those lights so that can be either from a separate switch panel or the main screen now i've got one of those here beauty that's look i want to point out that's small as well and light so that's, yes. that's great that's great that's right so familiar with that yep yep familiar. so so that screen as per our other red vision products we just need to link it via the data cable and away we go. So the other thing with the Rogue is we could have more than one Rogue channeled uh, up. So yep. that you can now see, we could have say 20 channels. Yep. We can have additional water level sensors, additional switching, yep. be able to expand the system depending on what, what we want to do. So the creativity of either, you know, your own personal product or for a manufacturer, they're able to do an, any number of different things with it. So you could get two 40s, could you do a 40 and an 80? You Correct. had some really high yes. draw stuff? Yep. Beautiful. Yeah, so, and that way you can have, if you've got different types of water level sensors in your tanks, you wish to control one of the Red Arc inverters, then you're all able to have that and either have a, a fairly basic system or be able to expand that right out. Beautiful. And it was a CAN bus? It looked like it was a that, That's a right, cable. so you see there, yep. data cable, very easy to, to click it in together and we can continue adding more products as Daisy we go. Chain it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah. Now, we're very familiar with that screen and very familiar with TVMS, generally speaking. You can also, obviously, Bluetooth to it. That's correct. Have you got a phone? Can you show us a few of those things? Yes, yes, I've got one right here. So with that, the Bluetooth is contained in the screen. So we're able to run the functionality here so that we can be able to push different things to be able to control them. So turn a light on here, turn the inverter on and off. And also we can see water tanks here as well. Yeah, handy. So when it's paired with our manager as well, then we're able to look at all our battery functionality. So battery percentage, we can see there our inputs. So it's all on one in the palm of your hand. Yep. And, and speaking of manager, that's a manager 30 right there. That's correct. And that has CAN bus functionality as well, that's doesn't it? That's right. Yeah. So you're able to just plug, plug that in there. So that can be used with the same screen. Hook it up with your new Rogue system and away you go. It's amazing, isn't it? So we're talking here, you could build from a small package of just a manager 30 and some batteries, start building it out, add TVMS, add Rogue, and you can go, you know, basic or full suite, all CAN bus, all plug and play. That's correct. So your basic system, one screen and the Rogue, and you can expand out from there. So multiple products. And that's today. And of course, you know, maybe in uh, next year, you'd like to expand that system again. Yep. Then certainly you can add more to that family. So what's in the box, Tim? Yeah, sure. So that's the box there. So obviously you get the main unit, but also you get the connectors. So you can see there the image on the side of the box and you get your instructions as well. So all the connectors are in there. They are standard automotive style connectors, so Molex connectors in there. And that way you're able to configure your product uh, as, as you would see fit. And we've got some color coding in there as well. So inputs, outputs, and what are those analog to digital inputs? So that can be used for say water tank sensors is a popular one where we've got perhaps flotation sensors. So they're able to hook them straight up into there and uh, configure those up with the app. I've been yes. to the factory and you've got that EMC lab for testing everything. So this goes through the same testing process as all Redux stuff with the same guarantees and warranties? Absolutely. So, and not only just for Australia, but also so we were able to export it to the US, Europe and other parts of the world. Meets all those so, standards. Yep. Absolutely. So new product there, we're building in Australia and exporting to the world. So what I'm interested in is we know it daisy chains, we know it all comes together and you've got the family of products, but how do you actually configure it, program it and control it? So that's with our phone system or any Bluetooth device. You're able to link to the system with the screen. And then we've got two apps. One is the configurator. So that's when you set the system up and you only need to do that once. And then there's the user app. And that's what I was showing you being able to turn the, the items on and off. So your lights, inverter, etc. So you can jump into the configurator app and does that allow you to set um, like a limit on amps? Because I'm wondering about fusing and bits and pieces, because this yes. this is small, it's going to have digital fusing, I reckon. That's right. So it's got electronic fusing in there, and certainly there's there's a lot of protection in there, but it will let you know if there's something that's, that's being overloaded on your screen and also on your app while using it. You program the limits, or does it have a, does it have its own limit built so in? So it does have a 10 amp limit yep. on there. So with the configurator, you've got a library of, of different settings that you might want to have. Uh, so icons, perhaps, for your, for your different things, and then how you want to label it as well. So on your screen then, I want to have, have that as my outside light, or my ensuite light, or an ensuite fan, perhaps. And then you're able to configure that to suit your particular camper, canopy, or whatever application you wish to have. Wonderful. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate no worries. It. Thanks, Tim.